much, Michelle. Uh, I want to welcome everyone to today's uh, seminar. And uh, quickly, we'll just go over today's agenda. Uh, I'll get some general CMC requirements. That is what the 21 CFR in particular requires. Then go into minimal requirements. Uh, at this point in time, uh, or this uh, phase of drug development, safety is the most important part of the IND. I am going to concentrate on biopharmaceuticals primarily uh, because they are much more complicated and there are more CMC issues, although much of this will apply to small molecules as well. And in the interest of time, I will also concentrate on the chemistry portion of CMC. Once we've gone over the absolute minimal requirements, I'd then like to get into risk and reward in terms of analytical formulation and stability. In other words, how can we streamline the process while still maintaining quality, the purity, and the safety of the drug product? So as stated in 21 CFR 312.23, information is required to be submitted to assure proper identification, quality, purity, and strength of the investigational drug. The emphasis in initial phase one submission should generally be placed on the identification and control of the raw materials and the drug substance. So what does this mean? In the IND phase one, the CMC requirements for drug substance include description, manufacturer, method of preparation, your analytical methods, and your stability. Note my emphasis on a brief description. Reviewers want a succinct, clear description of the process and the data. The tendency in INDs is to provide too much information or the information is too technical. Uh, as I was stating, um, you want to keep your IND submission succinct. Remember that this is not a thesis. If it's not clear to the reviewer, it can cause delays and possibly unnecessary questions uh, regarding your submission. If you could have the next slide, please. The requirements for drug product are, of course, very similar to that of drug substance. Uh, obviously, you have the addition of the excipients as well as quantitative composition. And I will note on the stability portion that the information to assure the product stability is for the planned clinical studies. In other words, the duration of the clinical studies. And I'll touch on this point later. Next slide. Right. So we have a polling question at this point. Is that correct, Glenn? Yes. It OK. So. The polling question uh, that I'll launch right now is for the audience, um, which the audience can vote on in real time by clicking on your screen. So the question we are asking is, does your company utilize outside consultants to plan and or write your IND submissions? The options are always, frequently, infrequently, or never. And again, the question is, does your company, company utilize outside consultants to plan and or write your IND submission. We'll give the audience a few more seconds to vote. Again, your options are always, frequently, infrequently, and never. And it looks as if most of the audience has voted, so I will now close the poll. and share the results. And here the results are 6% saying always, 27% saying frequently, 
36% saying infrequently, and 30% saying never. And with that, I will close the poll, and you can move on from there. Glenn. Thank you. Uh, that's very interesting information, and thank you for answering that poll question. Now that we've seen what the CFR 21 re uh, requires, what's behind these requirements? The expectations from the agency are that the product is in its early stages of development. They're expecting no, there's no expectation of efficacy. There is no expectation of product specification. The primary, and I cannot emphasize this enough, uh, goal of the IND is product safety from a CMC standpoint. Your IND will need to support the safety through your animal tox studies, your manufacturing strategy, obviously characterization of your um, raw materials, quality control of these raw materials, and the investigational materials. And again, preliminary stability studies. Next slide, please. So what are the agency's safety concerns? 